Okay, that's okay. Okay, it's happening now. <laughs> I'm walking a thin line. <laughs> yeah, fuck. A little bit. I mean, it's it's no thin blue line backspacer like Spider-Co. I mean, <laughs> the line's thicker than that, that's for sure. But like, but... The, the, I, I, can't, I can't remember which one of you pointed it out last time, but the fact that they didn't include the police model in that lineup, it's like... Paul, Paul gives it. credit for that one. That's pretty hilarious for sure. Like, yeah. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> the one knife in your entire lineup that's perfectly named for it. And you don't do anything with it. I just want to point out the fact that we now have 555 subscribers. I was going to make a comment tonight that we hit the 555, and that's pretty fantastic. We should almost do a giveaway just for that, but we're probably lazy and we won't. By the time we get it out, it'll be at 557 or 553, depending on how our channel works, because really it goes both ways sometimes, but yeah. Uh, you know, truth in advertising and all that, so. Well, you know, it is what it is. It's, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, heartburn. Oh, that's never fun. No. Ooh. This grapefruit beer should definitely fix that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So, uh, I was introduced to a beer the other day that was introduced. Okay, I know you don't like fruity beers, and I know you don't like porters, but try this fruity porter. You'll love it. <laughs> like... It's like you really know how to sell something when I go to drink it, right? Uh, yes. In in Matt's defense, it was pretty good, but I couldn't drink more than one without being like, "That's a porter." Yeah. So I was going to ask you if it was Matt. I suspected as much. As soon as you said porter, yeah. The only thing porter should be is a Mel Gibson movie called Payback, but that was a good movie. So I don't know if I've ever seen Payback. Really? His I name was Porter. <laughs> Main character. And like, no last name, just like Cher. Like, his name was Porter. Is Cher Cher's last name? That's weird. The fact that you said is Cher Cher's. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's also weird. I mean, how else are you going to say that? Not only do we have 555 people subscribed, we oh, we had five people watching. Then we got a sixth, and it ruined it. And it ruined <laughs> it. Number six. How Two of you go seven. away. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you keep us wow. company? How dare you? John. Cheers, John. What's Thanks going on? Thanks for joining us tonight. Hmm. May long yeah, we in Alberta. May long. Uh, it doesn't start being nice until after May long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ask me what my plans are for next weekend. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be 17 degrees and I'm going camping because May long. Actually, we turned this into a half decent weekend, except for the people that are staying out tonight. They might have got rained on a little bit, but as soon as June and July rolls through, then you get some good weather and it's worth, you know, hanging a hammock in the trees and sleeping out there for three nights in a row. So, indeed. On that note, who wants to go first? Who's on Not first? Me. Uh -huh. I'll go first. I got my uh, Pena Trapper. You're still not sick of that thing, huh? Huh? You're still not sick of that thing, huh? Sick of? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. I can do this now. That's all I want to do in life. That, that, that's it? <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm good. That <laughs> I'm struck by lightning as we speak, and I'll be fine. We uh, I'll just might have to talk about your life expectations there, uh, Paul. Well, <laughs> you know. The whole thing about achievable it not getting goals, man. Achie achievable goals. I mean, I I want to agree, but I really don't. <laughs> I mean, when when the bar you set for yourself is the lock bar, you know, there's something going on for sure. So. Boo. Oh. It's set. It's... <laughs> uh, I'm carrying my manly wasp. Nice. I was reminded this week how nice manly stuff is, and so yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That was a neat knife. You hush your face. We'll talk about that. <laughs> Speaking I'm not of manly. 
I'm not curious. I'm not curious at all about any of that. Don't worry, don't worry about it, I said. Oh, I'm not worried. I'm also not curious. Um, <laughs> here it is. AD15 today. Because it's just the right thing to do at all times. Because you but want to take off your fingies. I do. I do want to take off my fingies with this knife. So do you think that you can run faster with the AD15 light? No, I don't think so. Maybe it has light in the title. It it might not be lighter weight, but come on, like <laughs> it's got to give you some sort of speed boost. Uh, Joseph might not be able to run any faster, but I guarantee you, Pete can. Oh yeah. Even with a garbage can in his hand, like I got that. Also, I don't think we said what's up to Justin. What's going on, Justin? John's carrying a concept goblin. Goblin. Oh, yeah. That concept stuff, I tell you. I tell you. It's worth keeping tabs on. Indeed. I'm going to bring up a picture of that goblin because I, uh... I mean, it just reminds me of the best tech goblin and the imp and those knives are weird, but... The concept, concept goblin. goblin is all right. It's a little yeah. Tesla truck <laughs> looking for me, but it's it's not bad. That's one hell of a opening hole. One yeah. hell of a pocket clip, too. Yeah, it's fairly it's substantial. Conveniently right-handed place. So so <laughs> what are your guys' opinions on wider pocket clips? I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe they're a really good idea when you can get them. What's this? Uh, wide, po wide pocket clips. You lose me. You lose me, sir. Yeah? Oh, fair enough. Yeah, um, this is the pocket clip that should be on everything right here. It is... <laughs> Yeah. yeah, just my own. Yeah, whatever. Uh, two cents on it because I find. Yeah, I was gonna say I understand where Joe's coming from from like a stability standpoint and things like that. But well, I'm even thinking like ergonomically in your hand. That's one thing I like about stuff like the Chavez designs, or to a, a much lesser extent, uh, the Cold Steels with the really wide pocket clips. They they feel comfortable. Um, even if they're not necessarily the nicest looking in the pocket. Yeah. I think for me, the pocket clip is usually an aesthetic thing. Anson, 357. Glad you joined us tonight. Fisk, and how's it going? Spiderco crew hey. wear. That's a beefy knife for you to be carrying. Uh, and John and Mississauga saying the knife is actually pretty small. In the hand, it kind of looks small-ish, but yeah. Is it what, like, I'm, I'm picturing it like the uh, Fox Tur from what I'm seeing in hand there. I, I had like, yeah, a pillar two type of thing in my mind, but. Um, Justin's carrying his turret. He finally cut something with it. So he's probably gonna swap it out for something else. Well, it's job here is done. That's it. <laughs> Let's move on to different things, right? Like it's, yeah. yeah. What, what, what am I gonna do? Resharpen it like a pleb? <laughs> well, you know, I could wait 104 <laughs> days for a uh, aluminum bug out to come out so it's 101 oh. now thank you very much I, <laughs> oh, i'm gonna get this train rolling we're talking about it let's just dive in here all it's right, been nine minutes right. of our B bs it's so uh yeah that's the first option tonight benchmade being like oh aluminum's hard to mill and make sunbursty and have out in time for when we say it is i've uh i've got theories let's hear them all right so first thing for me that came to mind and it was actually, the aluminum was the first thing. Like, oh man, how difficult could that really be? But then I remembered, hold on, this blade's made with M390. Not 20 CV, not made, not made locally in the States. Maybe they're having problems getting M390 into the country in the quantities they want. Could be, could be. But that's the oh, only we, thing. We had the 100 day roll over two hours ago, I see. That's good, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Kick one more day off the box there, boys. It's, yeah. So. Quick shout out to uh, Matt in chat there. Black Frost. What's Cheers. going on, sir? Cheers to uh, Fruity Porters. Um, so apparently Benchmade's statement is just wanting to have enough quantities to give all retailers a chance to be able to sell some. And it looks like September is now kind of the date we're working with. So, Which... It's a little disappointing, if we're being honest, because that's a good-looking knife. 100 days away from today is Tuesday, August 31st. 
for all of you wondering. Yeah, yeah, September. <laughs> I was right two hours ago, for the record. <laughs> He's got me there. Yeah, this morning it said 102 days remaining, didn't it? When we checked with... Uh, 101. Was it 101? Uh, okay. Yeah. I had said 102 on Saturday. Okay. And then when you looked, you were like, it's down to 101. I believe. Mm. So, yeah, I'm not particularly happy about this. Other than the uh, mini Adamus, this was my next front runner on like, all right, let's see what they got for this bad boy here. Um, yeah. And uh, now we get to wait till fall time for it. And now it's going to be contending with me picking up a 31 with S45. So, mm -hmm. so Gee, uh, yeah. I wonder which way you're going to lean in that <laughs> One of them is already half paid for. I was going <laughs> like, to say, it's, it's kind of like your choices might be locked in a little bit. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Okay. Oh. Um, is it, do you, do you personally care that they went with M390 over 20 CV? Like, have you found a difference in Benchmade's M390 versus their 20 CV or 204P or whatever else? Uh, I think I probably like their 20 CV actually a little bit better myself. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> a little bit harder just I, from the fact that i have a little bit of both type of thing what's that paul i was gonna say i don't have anything in m390 at all um and i like benchmade's heat treat on most things so that's the thing that's always kind of bounced me back and forth between the carbon fiber s90 version and this this is a knife that might end up being in my collection in more than one variation which is and annoying I'm not uh, sure why I am unsubscribed from Fisk, but meh, it's come, easy come, easy go. You did something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you just say unsubscribed? Yeah. 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 yeah oh, it's, for, a, it's okay. From Dennis specifically. Oh. Um, oh, I think it's, oh, it's a 31. I'm buying, it's a 31. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm buying a 31 before I'm Gotta buying buy. this oh. aluminum thing. And I am probably am going to be buying this aluminum thing and then may or may not be doing a blade swap with someone in our chat. Um, it's not Calgary Watch Attic, but I will give them a shout out for joining us. That's for sure. Um, you can use it all you want. It's just going to deduct from the value of your current knife. You just have to keep that in mind, Justin. That's fine. It's yeah. You can you can continue to use that dash three all you want, and I will take uh, the wear and tear in cash value. It's fine. It's <laughs> shaman, you say. Shaman oh. and titanium is something uh, I'm down with. So give me some fluid like, and titanium. I'd like this knife to be like a hand grenade in any every possible way. Like holy cow, that's just a beast of a knife. A it's shaman, yeah. Way. Kaboom! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's nitroglycerin packed into the scales themselves. You open it up, and there's shockwaves from the blade rattling. <laughs> every time you open, every time you open the knife, you you're, you break your arm in at least three places. Like it's <laughs> you just walk up to random people. Can you open this for me? Fire in the hole! Bang! <laughs> it's awful. I hate everything about this conversation. All right. Um, Back on track, Benchmade. Uh, I have to be kind of calling out the fact that these countdown things lasted, uh, you know, five months before all of a sudden. They're like, countdowns are for people not like us in spider Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't miss a deadline if you change the deadline. Okay, so I got to ask how much lead time is baked into these dates when they're initially set because clearly it's not enough um generally in manufacturing you're gonna assume for some kind of slack right like what if we don't get materials by this date like what's the worst possible date versus when's the earliest you can get it done and generally you want to have somewhere in the middle towards somewhere a little bit further down the road this is just annoying like Oh, sure, it's wow. this big, crazy countdown to build up hype, and the hype keeps building, and then, hey, there's, a, there's like 80 extra days that I have to wait for this knife. Like, the But again, it's like the hype train. Like, sure, push yeah. it back to 120 in a couple months. Like, you might as well tell me that you've got a crew wear my car to Shaman coming out. Yeah, like, yeah. awesome. We'll see it when we see it type of thing, right? Like, it's so... 
the thing for me is because they were so close to actually launching, because it was what, 20 days the, the last time we had looked? And yeah, it was under 20, I believe, before it flipped. Yeah. Yeah. Like if it was 100 days out and they swapped it to 160 days out, I wouldn't care. But to get it so close to when it was supposed to go live and then it go, no, three months later. Like, that, it's I think that's weird. why it hurts. Like, did they well, discover I'm, something wrong with the aluminum that they used and they had to scrap yeah, I, the whole batch? That's the like, thing is, like, how, like, getting that close to 20 and or give or take a day or two type of thing for it to actually have flipped to, like, what happened that they got that close other than them already knowing and just not wanting to change it to preemptively annoy people? Or something happened, like you said, where all of a sudden there was like, you know, strength tests on aluminum that was crumpling. Like, eh, eh, eh. I think the aluminum. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> aluminum. This is tin foil. Like, like what happened? I Sorry, think they would have had less pushback if they had done it earlier, though. Getting that close and then announcing, unless there was something that was like, <clears throat> if this happens first, we'll be fine, and that didn't happen. But yeah. even then, I would have I would have rather them have it pushed back to September and then go, no, we were wrong. It's actually coming out in 20 days. That's a much better way to play that game. Go for the long game and bring it in short. Yeah. Overestimate. <clears throat> it's interesting. Yeah. It's very interesting the strategies that some of these companies are coming up with. Or, and you know, the, they're... the lack thereof. But Well, theoretical. Yeah. It's strategy. It's not follow through. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess that's a... the shipment of aluminum and not aluminum. I mean, maybe <laughs> they couldn't get the aluminum from Coca Cola. Maybe Who that was opened the, the non aluminum box? Come on, <laughs> dude. Uh, they're supposed we talking around Christmas time. About that was for barrel was spacers. Where were big? God damn it! Like it's <laughs> no. I, I just thought about it though. Is the fact that there was an aluminum shortage at Christmas time. So maybe there they was. didn't get your aluminum shipment. So there was actually. So I actually am kind of unaware. Like I, I like to do research on different alloys and such, but I really don't actually know how alloyed okay. aluminum is made. Well, like we're okay. not getting into that on the live stream. But no, 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 no. But <laughs> as soon as like, you said it, Joe, I was like, I will not <laughs> let this happen. <laughs> like, it's... Uh, it's just more from the production side of things. Like Benchmade, clearly Benchmade doesn't make their own aluminum. They buy it from an aluminum mill. They buy it from somebody who makes it but like how do they make it do they take the yeah anyway i, I don't know anything about that process yeah. it just kind of it's, occurred to me it's way cheaper to take aluminum and make aluminum out of it than to refine aluminum ore um i think it's something like 90 or 90 percent 90 or 95 percent of aluminum is recycled and actually reused interesting okay yeah it's like making glass glass is easier to remelt and make something else out of than to make glass new. It takes more more mm. temperature. More I heard and I heard and I don't know how accurate it is about the whole like aluminum shortage, but uh, I heard part of that was actually because of things like depots and stuff like that all being shut down. That yeah. the production of it had to actually absolutely halt last year for a while and blah 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 type of thing. So then all of a sudden everyone was in a rush to get it when it was back up and running and now no one can get it because Coca Cola could it? Yeah. But well, a giant surplus. So Coca Cola would be able to outbid most companies out there. So yeah. what do you but, mean? Coca Cola has deeper pockets than Benchmade. How dare you? <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. But I'm curious to see how. Uh, yeah. If anything this, else gets pushed back. Yeah, this strategy and how effective it is. I thought they were pretty on the ball to begin with, but. Yep. One slip may maybe means that it might not be. Hopefully. Well, Hopefully it's a one-time deal. I was so. going to say, this is the first major slip up, right? Where The other thing that I'm super curious about is Benchmade always likes to throw out random models and things like that going on. So I'm curious about like, hey, new to our hunt series that no one saw coming and blah, blah, blah. Type, but like, I'm, I'm wondering how many of those are going to slip okay. through. The, well, I'm wondering how many are going to slip through the... Uh, but the release date. Ooh. Hey man, it's just your turn this week. It happens. <laughs> Someone, everybody some... gets one. Oh, everybody gets one. Somebody's got to go down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. So, We're back on. We're live. So I said I don't have any M390 in my collection, and I lied because I have this. Oh yeah, that's a. But new is it Benchmade though. M390? 
It's not. It is actually. But, hope <laughs> but the anthem is Benchmade M390, and by that I mean 20 CV. There you go. All right, we're back. We're back. Yeah. Should. Let's see Hopefully, if we'll trickle back in. Hopefully, all the guys will uh, realize that we're uh, part two. It's a part two. We didn't even get to the government mandated break. Like that was so quick. That was the government mandated break, apparently. <laughs> yep. Because the government said so. Yep. They that's, mandated. That's why everything failed. Yes. Um. By any. Oh no. Be able to link video one and video two together. Uh oh. Yep, he sure did. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Oh, how he's are you moving, doing? Man. Good to see, good to see you. Internet connection's unstable, so I'm gonna let you guys talk for a minute. I'm gonna go make sure everything's okay with the router. Okay. All right. Uh, hopefully to we be don't. Fair, I think it's just the three of us watching. Right. Oh, there's six of us now. No, there no. we go. There's we got right. a bump there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Joe's having some technical difficulties, so we're hoping that we can get this all back up and kicking here, so. It's, it's a stormy day out today, so it's unfortunately something you gotta deal with. It was a dark and stormy night. That's how the yeah. whole video started. It's, yeah. That's how the whole stream started. Some guy's got a baking sheet in the background, shaking it, making it sound like thunder and lightning. I really that's why that Joe's we... not here. He's just like <laughs> Joe, get get a baking sheet. I want to make this a reality now. Get a baking you need, sheet. You need to get yourself a baking sheet and uh, some I don't know rain sticks and uh... <clears throat> I I say we blame John and Mississauga. He was surprised we were streaming tonight. He cursed us. And now it says we have an excellent connection. Okay. And we've been live that's for 10 the, seconds. Okay. That's excellent. That's excellent. I hope it I hope it stays that way this time. I hope it stays most excellent. Most excellent. Yes. I can't believe how many videos I've had to like tonight just to keep up with. I know what it is. Nigel's curses. It's just Nigel's curses, apparently. Manifesting all at once. Yeah. On liking, us for some reason. Liking the videos, sharing and subscribing. It's it's all catching up to us now. Full circle. Streams failing for no reason has been my life for the past year. <laughs> yeah, no shit, hey. Uh internet is a wonky. Uh have you tried doing better? Have you tried turning off, turning it off and back on again? That's actually uh, the next thing I'll be doing. If the stream goes down again, I'll be restarting my computer because I'm not fucking around with it anymore. <laughs> like, Have you tried turning it on? <laughs> like it's, that might be your problem. I don't yeah, have the analog. Rub your computer's nipples. I was, ju I was just going to say, I don't have like analog nipple attachments for my laptop. Um, if I could find some that Who are you. Who <laughs> even are you? If I could find some that are USB compatible, then maybe we'll talk. But I mean, like Paul said, who are you, man? Like you work with what you're given. Like if it's the shift key, you go with the shift key. That's, I, like... I I turned off sticky keys. Do you guys yeah. remember when laptops had the little rubber nubbin? Yeah, the, uh, that was uh, well, that was the Lenovo um, ThinkPads that had those. I'm pretty sure Lenovo is the only company who ever had them. No, Fair no, enough. that's not true. I think, did they license the technology to Dell? This is a different kind of nerdery that we're never going to have an answer to. So, it's that's true. okay. No, but it was a computer um, clip. That's what I was going for. <laughs> Damn it, Justin. Six hands. <laughs> so, uh, so, we should talk about something else. Yeah. D disappointing, Benchmade. How, damn, how, how dare you? Damn you. Um, yeah. yeah. Stop smocking it up. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> It was worth the wait, but was it really? <laughs> yeah, no. No, it wasn't. That's the no. worst. Did you see our top gear scores for that knife? Yeah. There was, there was some hate. There was some hate. Some of it was deserved. Some of it was deserved. Um, 
what are we uh what are we looking at next uh we can talk about my thing cool. yeah sure what's your thing um well one of the things is microtech if you go to um tell me i guess if you just type in medium tri- triangle bit driver for microtech knives they are finally selling the tool to disassemble their knives I thought they uh, sold them separately. I thought they yeah, always sold like them separately. They, they used to be like a hundred bucks. Yeah. And now what are they? They're now ten. Oh, I see. I see. Twenty-two bucks on PVK dot Vegas. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So this is an official. So this is an officially manufactured tool. Yeah. I was looking at it on Blade HQ, but... Uh, um, oh, out yeah, of yeah, curiosity, is it made in the USA? Let's find out. I know their yeah. knives are. Uh, they may or may doesn't not say. advertise. Mm, doesn't say. <laughs> Personally, I don't really care, as long as it's made of a decent enough material, but... There might be a reason that it's $22, and the reason might be named Dab Gear. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, like I was saying before... <laughs> On, on Blade HQ's website, it says that it was, uh, like, it's compatible with specific models. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it could be made for Microtech. I was just super curious on if it yeah. does clearly state whether it was made in the Microtech factory or not. I think they just recognized the fact that people were buying knockoff Microtech out the front knives, specifically to get the tool for free. And, uh, hey, if we just sell it, people will just buy that instead. That yep. might be my roundabout way of saying it, but, you know. Touche. <laughs> oh, shady. Um, so anyway. Cool I, I, that it exists, yeah. because I know those tools have been a pain in the ass to come by through legitimate means uh, since forever. So Now, I imagine they are still somewhat uppity <laughs> about... Um, disassembly because i think they are Does you can they can't you can but with stipulation or something like that i'm not 100 percent sure i think Is isn't it, there a fee if you disassemble and can't reassemble or something like that i don't know i, don't know. I think Microtech there should be a not, fee for most places if you disassemble something you can't put it back together that's on you yeah I'll do, but it's gonna i don't i don't disagree with that yeah, yeah. i am interested yeah. in finding out though and it does say here it's not rocket surgery to take a knife apart and put it back together uh, and thanks for joining us again, everyone who came back. Uh, yeah, technical difficulties. Um, but his name is Joe, so. <laughs> no, we, we discussed this. It's John and Mississauga's fault for saying that he was surprised that we were streaming tonight. Oh, okay. We're, we're shifting the blame. I'm not even sure if he came back, but it's his fault. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, oh, shit, I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, I broke it. It's, it's all my fault. Um, oh, yeah. So okay. Yeah. Microtech will send you replacement screws. That's interesting. Neat. For free or for a fee? Uh, I was just at that page. <laughs> not that it matters. It's based on availability. Please note the installation of the screw requires a special tool we do not provide. Uh, nope. It's $10. From Blade HQ. Mm. The Vegas. Um, What's that place called again? It doesn't say here. Um, oh, uh, I forget the name of that other website. But it doesn't say here whether they charge you or not. But the um, other place is, is in, in uh, PNK Vegas, Vegas right? or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're going to have higher uh, rent costs and stuff like that just for being in Vegas. So that makes sense. <laughs> John just said in chat that it wasn't his fault. Dude, I'm telling you. Surprised we were here. <laughs> and yeah, happy you made it back, John, by the way. Indeed. Glad you joined us, yeah, for sure. Uh, speaking of the other John, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, man. Yeah. Cheers. Um, they have legal bills to pay, but we've already talked about this. It's it's a full circle of billings that may or may not include more or one of the same people. Indeed. Justin is going to get himself sued, and this comment is going to be the catalyst for it. 
Um, I think your comment is probably going to be the catalyst for it. But uh, thanks for calling them out. Cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so um, cool. he's got a tool. Um, I got a couple other small little things. I got a, a, or a comment or two to make on these ones because I'm just like, yeah, okay. They're yeah. not a hundred bucks now because they were. It was ridiculous. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly it. Um, the other thing I was going to talk about, well, there's, there's two other small things. One of them being the fact that they've announced another um, Blade HQ exclusive CEO in D2. Oh yeah, I saw with that. A brass handle. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't and have it doesn't have a burgundy micarta handle. It doesn't. Okay, and a black wash blade. Forms, black oh. wash okay. and silver. Yeah. Okay, so they do have black wash blades. Sweet, sweet. I'm glad you're putting that to good use instead of putting the actual regular production one out that should be out by now. If you're gonna do a black wash blade, you should at least do like the shipwreck bronze or brass like that would look badass on that how does brass shipwreck i know copper does really well but i haven't tried it with brass i don't know it's less sure less, less aggressively but it, you can make it look quite nice i um, think you get more pinks and like instead of the blues and stuff right like <laughs> actually i'm curious what happens if uh anyway um, all i'm saying is that these exclusives are fantastic but I Here's want my goddamn burgundy and regular here. production knives coming out on time when they should be coming out is cooler in my mind than a limited edition. Oh, isn't like, that funny? You get a PM3 if you Google shipwreck brass. <laughs> it's just in one of the, just in the corner there. But yeah, you can you can get some pretty nice tones and colors. Alright. All right. Brass and bronze will last for a goofy long time if you just leave it out. Um it preserves extremely well. I mean, yeah. But, yeah, even, even more so than things like copper. Slowly but surely, this thing is just getting nicer and nicer as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I don't actually have my flashlight on me from Drop, the brass one that I had, but it was very... I, I have a fondness for brass myself, so, yeah, I definitely enjoy the way that it ages. That's it. And finally, I think it finally ages. I think the CEO is a good choice for an all brass or all copper it's, scale because it's so small that it's not going to increase the weight that much. You yes. know what else is a good choice? Burgundy Micarta. <laughs> so why don't you tell so, the nice people why you're so salty? <laughs> this this horse back behind me, I've got this flog, and I'm not That's done. <laughs> That's so, we're going to take a look three at more the CEOs. More three more times throughout the rest of the episode, I'll probably at least kick that horse just to make sure that it's down for the count. But let's bring it up so the nice people can see. Yeah, this thing. Nice. So, Did they even have one run of them? I don't know if this, they even did. I don't think CRKT did. I haven't seen any listed anywhere Blade else. HQ Blade HQ, well, Blade HQ had it as a limited exclusive, and I'm calling it their limited exclusive because they just call it an exclusive knife. And then, then it's available on CRKT's website for everyone. Um, but they haven't actually released it anywhere else yet. It's listed on their website. Not, like if you go, and the best part is, I'm not even going to buy it. I just think that they should get their shit together. I <laughs> like am. I want it badly. Like it's available as a new product on CRKT's website. You can buy it. You can buy it right now from their website. It's an add to cart item. It sure is, but it's just not available elsewhere. I don't think. Interesting. Yeah, no particular big fanfare about it, although it's like the next well, step would, up from would the kill, standard CEOs. That would kill the sales of the brass one that they're about to release. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be no. sharing that on multiple websites. Yeah, <sighs> I hate that. My hand. Give me but one. What do you think this is? A S45 PM2? Like, come on. You can't be <laughs> announcing these things. No, it's a <laughs> like Blue Micarta S35 um, CEO. Well, that too. That too. Well, here's the thing. That's, that's also available on CRKT's website to purchase mm -hmm. right now. None of these are exclusives. 
which was also supposed to be exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I'm a little little salty about it. But that. it's kind of like Meat Crafter exclusive, right? You can get it in this place or us. Yeah. I like, mean, okay, an exclusive for like two locations, including the original manufacturer? Okay, fine. And I think there was some random but, sporting goods store that was affiliated with media. I was going to say in the Dick's, States. but I don't think it was Dick's. I hope it was. Dick's Sporting Goods. Yeah, man. That's a place. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sport, sporting goods can mean a lot of things. And before we get into any deeper into that topic, let's. <laughs> well, it's funny. It's a great segue into the, the next knife I wanted to talk about. Oh, <laughs> all right. What? It, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Is it the uh, CRKT the, wrinkle? <laughs> no, it's the Boker Spatchet Dagger uh, Wire oh. Lock. Um, oh, yeah, 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 I saw that on the new arrivals. Uh, yeah. Is it on Boker's website by any chance? Uh, I don't know. I think it actually is. Okay, so they've got four different variations. Wood handles, green micarta, and then coated and non-coated. For 100 bucks. what are you getting? VG10, huh? That sounds about right. Mm. Is, it's a Boker Plus? It sure looks uh, like it. It's it got looks that. like a, it's got a plus symbol. Plus it plus sure does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah VG10 is... Quaking quality, you know. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh yes. Um, What's our pricing on this bad boy? Hundred bucks uh, American. Yeah, that's acceptable. I'll buy it. Uh, Hell you yeah! You can buy an Endura for that, right? So with my Carta. And it looks like the screw might be lefty clip compatible. Mm. It's got one clip over there. It's a single screw. Maybe it might, I, I'm it might no, it. no. It's it's too low. It's too low on the handle. You're too low. That sucks. On the handle. Yeah, no, I think it's keyed, anyways. Why but be hold on, Why hold on. Be wrecking my dreams here. But the handle should. Oh, I was gonna say the handle should otherwise be symmetrical, so you could just swap the scales. But you can't because the pivot the is liner. actually closer to one side than the other. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I wasn't even thinking the liner. I was just thinking the um. Oh, okay. The the covers. That's, that's a kick right in the dick. Oh, oh that sucks. Dick. Um, I mean, it's it's like the guys who made Rook knives made this knife or something. It's a little penis. <laughs> you know, maybe. I didn't say, say Rook knives, by the way. Sorry, Paul, yeah. you were saying. I'm just saying it, how this knife is a little penisy. Oh, yeah, totally is penisy. Um, I'm you... pretty sure you legally have to wear this knife exclusively in gray sweatpants to show it off to best of... Boo. <laughs> Boo. Listen, Uncle Randy. Keep them tight jeans. No, no tight jeans. Just gray sweats. For all your meat gazing pleasure. Mm, don't like the term um, meat gazing. No, you shouldn't. I don't. It's better <laughs> than referring to it as a smash it. It's that's the thing. Um, this is closer to like oh, a Pugio than a smash it. I like it. But but I like smash it. They're silly and fun. Well, and I was looking at, like, Boker has a smash it. Smash it. Um, and They're... it's much smaller than Cold Steel's. Yes. Yeah, yeah. They've had but, a mini one. In. They've had larger ones in the past, I believe. Yeah. It's... There's a like, smash it 2.1 that's significantly larger. It's big enough to chop with. I would... I, I don't mind the smash it name, but just... Smash it makes me want to smash things with it. And I don't know if I can smash things with that little guy. I wonder how it throw, uh, throws underhand. That's my first, you know, <laughs> initial thought when it comes to smash it. Says I wonder how it throws underhand. Yeah, they were true to the handle though. They went very penisy, yeah. and it's got the it's got the grooves. The penis grooves. You can grooves. think. You can I, think, I Mister uh, Applegate, for that. Exactly. I believe, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's an Applegate Fairbairn. Yeah. Yeah, you can thank him. You can thank him for his fine, fine work on that pommel. I'm sorry, who was that? It's a fair oh, word. Uh, fair word. Yeah, yeah. But I think the original ones were actually more like a dog's head pommel than they were the symmetrical like ones. Steels. Yes, I believe that yeah. is truer to form. If you yeah. Google original smash it, I've just got some pictures up here. Um, a lot of these look like they've been rehandled, but. Most of them seem to have that sort of dog's head sort of uh Yeah, yeah. Just 
So this is a Fairburn as like Fairburn Sykes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. The man likes stabby stuff, okay? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm down with it. I and sometimes know. the stabby stuff needs to chop a little bit. Yeah. But it still has to stab. The primary function, you can't forget, is the stabbing. Yes. Never forget the stabbing. Never forget the stabbing. Ever, ever. Don't do it. I think that's pretty uh, accurate assumption for most people, I think. <laughs> To not forget you, to stab. You probably won't forget the stabbing. It's I'm just uh, saying. Yeah. Dick Richards and Chad is saying that Fairburn is a legendary bar fighter, apparently. I really hope that's true. That's fucking hilarious. Um, well, you know, he remembered the stabbing. So did he use the Canadian stabbing grid, do you think? Um, well, he is pretty polite. I'm pretty sure he drinks his tea pinkies up, so Right before he stabs you in the jugular. He might have apologized before he had to do what he had to do. Is he like a hockey hooligan kind of bar fighter? Um, no, he's not Canadian, dude. <laughs> I, I said is. hockey, didn't I? I meant soccer hooligan. Oh, okay. That that might be more accurate to the truth. Football hooligan. <laughs> anyway, uh, Knives, you says. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I probably won't pick this one up. Uh, only because... Uh, I remember it's what the, the no 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 it's nothing to do with the penisy maybe maybe a little bit to do with the penisy but it reminds me of the Euro Edge from Spiderco and that was a nice knife but I want that knife yeah I, I want this knife too but, but that's just it. put the Euro Edge up for a second I need to I need to see this thing again anyway what were you saying Joe as you're putting up the Euro Edge is it two words or was it just one no it was one just word. one there we go there I remembered what it was even before it went up on screen it's still not there yet but. It's an edge. It's an edge shimp design. I would. I like. Yeah. I like some edge shimp designs. I, I would much rather have the Euro Edge uh -huh. more than I would like to have this. Uh, okay, for magic. three and a half times the price, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I think they only made them for two or three years, and then, or if that, maybe two years. Yeah, maybe one uh, they, year. Yeah. They were not super popular. Um, they were, yeah. an arm and a, they were an arm and a leg, and they were a dagger, so most Spiderco guys were like, where's the weird hump that I put my thumb on? So, like, it's, yeah. <laughs> right next it's, to the hump that they cut off the, the yeah. smock. No one complains about it with a shaman, but I'm just saying. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's because the shaman's ridiculous. Two guys so, in our like, chat carrying shamans, I'm shots fired. <laughs> no. I, we, all, we all know the shaman's pretty pretty cool in its own way, but it, it's just not it's just not as pokey stabby fun as this penisy looking knife. That's, that's um, all it is. But yeah, I gotta be honest, like it for me, the Boker Smatchet folder comes down to the action on it. Mm -hmm. If it's a nice flicky action with a micard handle and kind of a daggery shape, I could see that being a fun knife to play with, right? Like I'm I'm a little for concerned for Per hundred and twenty five dollar <sighs> polar bear dollars. Right? Yeah, so. uh, probably Teflon. Probably Teflon. I'm guessing Teflon washers. I'm get, I'm gonna assume as well. Um, the other thing too is probably. Boker Plus stuff. In from what I seem to, from what I can recall, they seem to have like fairly soft detents. Not a big fan of that. Um, so that might just, kill it for me. Just the way I like them. You like a mushy detent, you creepy, creepy yeah. dude. <laughs> I want a possibly crisp detent without um, any sense. I can't use it. I would prefer it to be on the softer side, but if he gets to, like Boker Lancer mushy, you lose me a little bit. Like it's yeah, because the Lancer was super mushy. You don't want that. How is the is it the pimple? The bo uh, oh, it's 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 beautiful. Yeah, that one yeah, was the bull, the bull pop. That yeah. that was a nice exception to that rule of uh, mushy. Did that's a nice detent on that knife. Yeah, they machined this guy pretty nice. God, okay, if that knife, if this knife here, the smash it has a detent half, mm, two thirds as nice as the detent for mean? the bull pop. I pick one up. Yeah. Okay, I can see it being a fun knife. I, and for like I said, for the price that it is on the new market. You could probably get one pretty cheap. Dennis it might be a fun knife. A so yeah. Uh, Dennis, your audio cut out just for a second, but your video kept well, going, which is weird. You know, sometimes people have had enough of what I have to say. So <laughs> <laughs> only on days that end in Y. Oof. And on that note, uh, what are we moving on to next? 
I shouldn't uh, somebody talk else now, apparently. <laughs> 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 well, Dennis, you had something else you Possibly wanted to bring up, right? like, st- What's that? You had something you wanted to bring up, too, right? I got a couple things. I got a couple things. Um, it's funny, not too long ago, I was talking to Paul about this old school knife. I don't even think the com- uh, company exists anymore, but it was uh, Nemesis Knives, Joe. Ooh. And if you type in NK-14. MK? Like Amazon Mark? Oh. No, Nancy. M is in Nancy. <laughs> uh, the no. NK, the NK fourteen. Correct, sir. The two zero. Oh, right, this thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. So th- I've been. I was weirdly just came up in my mind recently, and I was thinking about it again. And you can't find one anywhere, and blah 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 blah. They make it apparently for eighty bucks. It's still an add to cart item. Yeah. Really? It, yeah. That's fantastic. I might have to order one. Anyway, I I'll, thought it was long since discontinued. But maybe they brought it back. It's I'm, small. It's like real steel connector small. Like do, a neck knife type Do thing. you want to you know, just split the shipping and buy three of them? Because... Uh, uh, what is it? RWL 34, I think? In no, the steel, no, no, no. Uh, CPM, CPM 154. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They're using I the nice... Was... They're using the nice 154. And it's only 80 American. That's kind of yeah. cool. So they're nifty little things with the pocket clip and the milled and the blah, blah, blah type of thing. The cool thing is, is I can actually get one, which I probably actually will. We'll talk about that after the stream. But um, I was saying that it's kind of a cool fixed blade idea where you can put the thing on there. The scribe kind of tried to do it with the pen application and the whatever. But uh, Boker just came out with a knife recently uh, called the Yulvi, L-Y-V-I. It is on Boker USA's website i don't know how to pronounce it but uh, it's y-l-v-i oh y-l-v-i yeah that's why i don't know how to pronounce it okay i, <laughs> I did i did l i did l-y-v-i and i'm like why aren't i getting any results i would have taken a swig at l-y but yeah. it's <laughs> you'll be you'll be that's that's yeah. all i got Okay, so this thing is a big ass chunk of D2. That's kind of a cool sheep's foot looking blade that actually has a pocket clip on it that you can attach to your pocket. But it's the ugliest freaking pocket clip I've ever seen. <laughs> like well, okay, that's this... not a pocket clip. That was just a random piece of sheet metal they found. Compared to the Nemesis knives, especially, I'm like, holy okay, crap! Okay, with that crazy jimping and those harsh, harsh corners on the G10, this thing looks god awful. But I'd be willing okay, to at so least I, hold it and find I out. I like the idea behind it, and it's thick as crap. I think if you actually Google image it and you look at people holding this thing, blade I think it's thickness point like, one nine inches. What the hell is they that? They are tanks. Uh, I think that's over a quarter inch, is it not? That's almost five millimeters thick. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, tanks like absolute wow. crazy D two pocket pry bar. Like that's thicker than that blade stock i think this is only like four mil but having said that i kind of like it <laughs> it's <laughs> oh it, it's interesting i like the look of that aggressive jimping i don't that looks like it's just going to destroy people's thumbs no um, no i don't like i said there's things about it i really don't like the fact that on uh, boker's website they refer to it as weight reducing notches in the handle you oh, mean no. that that big square cut out in the center? No, the small little square. Oh, it? maybe these. the big square too, and then maybe yeah. the ring on the back. But uh, yeah, jimping, uh, weight reducing because they made it as thick as my kukri. <laughs> like, oh, so, boy's got to do something to make it not feel like a Leatherman surge in your pocket. Like it's it's funny. This style of knife came to my attention with uh, Shabat's knives, actually. Okay. Shabazz does a, a small little fixed blade that you can carry in your pocket with his like fancy skull clip on it. I mean, for people that are into that kind of clip, sure, cool. Again, super wide clip. It looks comfortable as hell. What did um, you call me? A and super can, a super wide clip on on this thing, but comfortable in the hand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't want to know how you know about the comfort levels in the hand. Don't worry about it. But, I'll tell you tomorrow. Um, <laughs> the idea of like Scandi convexing this thing, 
out of four mil thick and like actually changing it. Like I like the idea of this knife. I don't like, I like there's a lot of things you need to do to this knife to make this knife a lot nicer, including the pocket clip and the thickness and the grind and the jimping and the whatever. Yeah. I would score low on the top gear scale for sure, because I would have to call it what it is objectively. Yeah. But you look at the blade shape and you look at the handle and you look at the clip that you can clip onto something and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, this could be something that is nice, but yeah. I yeah. like the blade shape. But that's the thing yeah. about this that I really do like. But and I sometimes think the knives is the better option of the two. Even sometimes I don't money. like. Sorry, Paul. Go ahead. Even at more money. Yeah. Um. Sometimes I don't like the blade to handle ratio being way way off, but this one I don't actually mind it. It's still like. The lads in chat don't like your knife choice, Dennis. I understand, Fisk. He already unsubscribed. Like. <laughs> so the Canadian chic thing, uh, I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe um, it's for chipping ice. Maybe I don't know, don't man. Like, ice where you live. Maybe the idea of like pocket fix blades is just kind of a thing that just still not super big in the states for whatever reason. That's um, not the case. I, I, I know it's kind of big down there. You guys like your I also small tactics. Like ugly looking knives sometimes. I, I, yeah. I'm this, the first one to admit it. Yeah, this one kind of looks like your tough a little bit as far as like the fuller and things like that. It does. Yeah, it does. I thought about my techno a little bit to go with it as well. Yeah. And like the pig nose and the sheep's foot and the, yeah, uh, yeah. So, and hey, D2. So, thicker than it should be and, and like the MPRs and yeah, whatever, right? So, oh, all yeah. the MPR, the things, a travesty. Um, so, I don't know. I'm kind of torn. Uh, anyway, I'd have to hold it to really have a have much more of an opinion than that basically like looks interesting, but it might be thicker than a mini Praetorian. Okay. And then we're going to, on the thickness note, we're going to throw the icing on the cake on this one. Because if you go to Boker's website again and you type in Sigyn, S-I-G-Y-N, and at least I'll try to pronounce that one because it's not Ilvi or whatever this one is named after. Someone's boat, I'm pretty sure. What but, the uh, so... hell? Okay, this what the hell? is Boker gnome sized and the same thickness as the last gnome that we, or the last knife that we just looked at. The if, hell? You Google, if you Google image this knife, it looks like it's a Medford in, in Boker gnome form. Like it's what the hell? It's like Rambo, but for a child. Also, having yes. a having a fuller come back into your finger choil. Sure, I wanted a hot spot right there. That's what was missing. <laughs> and for the record, this photo that you have up right now with the hearts, it's. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, That's going to be beautiful. someone's Valentine Day. Okay, it's kind of cute, for sure. Which may um, or may not be mine. I'm not... Spoiler alert. But anyway, <laughs> like, it's... Medford Gnome. It's like, like she... Like, it's like his she's, and hers, man. It's his and hers. I was going to say, like she sits through these, but then that's okay. <laughs> I Cows actually... Goes. Cows and goes. <laughs> I understand. Um... Honestly, I don't mind the lines of this knife. I think that fuller placement is fucked. But, I mean, other than it coming back into the finger choil, yeah. It's thick as hell, though, man. Like, that's weird. I I am all for really deep fullers. It's a thing that tickles my pickle. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Could have said no. anything else. <laughs> it's, it's funny... It's funny that uh, you brought up the Boker smash and folder because I had two Boker things on my plate tonight as far as, and I want this stupid little thing way more than I want the little pry bar thing that we were just looking at. But uh, I have three Boker gnomes in my collection and this just looks like something silly and fun like that. This looks like a fun neck knife. I'll be honest with you. But Bowie style, and I you got a sweet spot for a little bit of clip pointy action going on. And I could take that harpoon and even turn it into a clip pointy if you wanted to, right? So it's yeah, 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 yeah. It's not far away. But... They, I like that they went to the trouble of adding this like really wide eighth inch jimping all the way up, and then they did tiny little jimping just above it. Like they gave you two types of jimping for the price of one. Um. Well, it's better than the. It's better than the other one where it was just the crazy jumping all the way up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll agree. And honestly, that small jumping has got its place as far as like 
indexing the benchmade hunt series i don't even yep. i don't have a north fork anymore but uh yeah like the front jimping actually kind of makes more sense on this knife in particular um yep. for that particular reason right so yeah i just find it I'm funny super curious. give you I'm, both yeah i'm super curious about this one behind the edge the other one i know is going to be thick as fuck but this one actually is a beefy enough blade that it actually might the same symbol on them What's that? Yeah, I believe so. They were made by the same guy, Dirk Hoffmeister. Yeah. 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 There was a, a maker's mark that looks like uh, like runes or something, like father and child the rune. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah, interesting, thick, crazy, whatever. Yeah. You they did absolutely no rounding on those. Uh, and infinite gunworks i want one yeah me too dude me too and they're pretty reasonably priced 50 american is what they're on boker's website so for this thick little piece of d2 that you can get for 75 polar bear dollars 69 65 d2, d2. Little thick ass chunk of d2 it's probably soft because it's poker plus but meh. i'm into it <laughs> but it's made by san Remu, right so it should be a halfway decent edge yeah it's gonna be like qsp's d2 uh, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I like QSP's D2, quite honestly. Um, I had mixed. Their Penguin was really good for me. Their Nesmuk was a little soft for me. I had mis mixed reviews That's on weird. that one. So. My Nesmuk is, our Neckmuk is really nice. Hmm. As compared to your Penguin? Well, they're both. like okay. Neck and neck kind of thing? Okay. The Maybe neck and neck. You get out of the chat. Drop that chat. <laughs> like, let's go for a take four. Like, seriously. <laughs> yeah. Somebody oh, uh oh, technical issues. <laughs> <laughs> Made in Asia. Yeah, yeah, it's Booker Plus, all right. Yeah, yeah, for sure it is. But anyway, weird I, little guys that I, I discovered. Do you think you could actually hold that much weight in a Kydex sheet without it falling out? Well, I can't hold the Boker Gnome that's my car to handle. I have to remold the damn sheath. Like, it was brutal. So, so this is only 2.36 ounces. That's not terrible. That's about... that. That's actually... Well, okay, it's heavier than a bug out, but... I was like, are you kidding me? Like... <laughs> hey, I'm man, a... I've got traditionals heavier than that. Sure, but do you uh, wear them around your neck? And... Uh, uh, not this one. Knife Whisper, thanks for joining us, man. Uh, cheers. Yeah. Uh, James Brandt. Uh, yeah. So super smooth as any Shiro. That's saying something because Shiro's are, uh, are as far as smoothness hard. goes. Really? Because I um, felt, I, I don't know. I've, I felt really? some Shiro's that are nice and some that are like, this is almost as good as a ZT. Oh. oh. oh Sounds like somebody has a dirty knife. Uh, oh, it no, sounds like someone no. likes ZT more than they should. No, no, this was new out of box kind of thing. It was like, this either needs huh. work or... That's yeah. interesting, because all the Shiro's I've handled are just, like, pretty butter. Pretty butter. But, I mean, most of them have actually been disassembled and cleaned and blah, blah, blah. So maybe out of box is different than it could well be. oil I think Shiro. Yeah. Shiro's, those are coming from Russia, right? So, I mean... Fair enough. It could it could need a little bit of tuning before gotta, everything's ready. You gotta clean the cosmoline out of them, man. You notice how this group chat is more likely to besmirch uh, yeah, Microtech before they besmirch Russia? <laughs> Just for the record. It's, uh, I want everyone <laughs> well, to note that. It's... <laughs> there might be a reason for that, anyway. Uh... <laughs> I don't think that Marfion's gonna come to my house. The Russians might. The Russians might. What are you kidding? How many floors are there in your building? The Russians are already there, dude. Like it's <laughs> they're in between the floors. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I I expect a visit from Vladimir Putin. I was gonna say you're gonna get a knock on the door while we're streaming. <laughs> Just him on a horse, no shirt um, for absolutely no reason. That's really cool to hear, hear because uh, as far as all the things we talked about, as far as James Brand, uh, smoothness wasn't one of the things I came into play. But if the machining and the tolerances are as nice as uh, you say they are, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. A little more credibility for the James Brand because I have knocked them quite a bit, I got to be honest. Well, uh, and so I've yet to actually handle one. So. so every time I see a James Brand knife or hear about it, it's just, I get this feeling in my gut like, man, this is like a, it's like a MacBook, like super overpriced for what it is kind of thing. Um, I with, guess the desire to play with my mustache. But, but 
but it, like Dennis is saying, it's good to hear that people are having good experiences with them because by all accounts, if their stuff's actually being made by Riot, you can trust the quality. Um, and they seem to be doing some pretty interesting work. So I don't know. It, I'm slowly coming around on them is what I'm trying to say, I think. Because initially my, my, my gut reaction was like, I, I don't want anything to do with this. But I got to say that 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 Micarta inlay along the spine of the integral was kind of like, ooh, that that's interesting. I like that. Yeah, I I enjoyed that. It bummed me out that they didn't bother putting one on the lock bar side. That was uh, definitely a the letdown. Spine was nice. After you get all the ballots, well, you know, they need to count those several <laughs> times or not at all, depending on the situation. So it's third time's a charm. Oh, well, brutal. Depends on which state. Um, so I have something else actually to throw out there. Jo Joe, do you have a topic? Uh, I kind of wanted to see where this would take us. Um, I was just going to rag on San Renmu. There's a couple of funny things I noticed in their catalog, but uh, we, we can talk about okay. other, other stuff. Well, I would like to dive into the sub layers of the Chinese manufacturers. So if we can do a little deep diving on what we discovered from last week, plus some San Renmu, we could actually probably make an entire episode about the deep dive of the similarities and the scary things that you discover on where things are coming from. Yeah. I think yeah. that might be worth an entire episode because we could probably make it one. Okay. I have a thing we can talk about if we're looking for topics. Well, I got a couple things still. Go right ahead. Yeah, yeah. So Leatherman announced just this past week the Bond. The Leatherman Bond. Yes. They sure did. If it's what does it do? Not much. <laughs> 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 okay okay when is it gonna do it whenever you need those six okay. pieces that it has <laughs> what does it do it doesn't lock is what it does so here's the thing we're going pst style man we're this, going this is knives style it's, this is a very close it's a more legal version of the rebar which is a tool they've had for a long time um it's actually the the, the leatherman that i carry pretty much every day but none of these tools lock open. That's the big you, gimmick, you right? You say this like it has half the tools that a rebar has. Mm, the only thing that it's missing out of here is the saw and the ruler, yeah. I guess, if you care and about that. Scissors? Rebar does not have scissors. Does the rebar not have scissors? It's been a while. So. Sure, sure doesn't. Okay. Wait for this. Anyway. Um... Ultimately, it's the PST. It's the exact same tool as the PST, but the PST was had like the rubber moldy blah 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 type of thing, I believe. And then they, they don't just want the rubber moldy. Well, it depends on how much glass fiber is in it. We talked about that a couple weeks ago with the molds. It's fine. You definitely it's... don't want your rubber to have glass fiber in it either. Well, <laughs> pocket survival tool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't make that guy anymore. Two hundred and seventy-four dollars. What the fuck? That's because oh, it's, it's a collect. Rarity. It's a collect. It's a collector's edition. Okay, I. I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, thought that was a standard price. Okay, so um, uh, do they not make the? No, they do. It's I have it for a couple years, I believe. Yes. There's the but, free P two. Okay, but. That's a fancy pair of Raptors right there. God damn. So it uh, doesn't deserve uh, yeah. the name Bond. Yes, it does not deserve the name Bond for sure. I will agree with that. Yeah, they, 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 hold on. They, they got rid of the replaceable wire cutters. It's just the standard molded. I thought they were. I thought they weren't making any more tools that didn't have the replaceable bit cutters. Oh, they're going old school. They're going old school here again. You break it, you buy it. I no, it's leather, man. No. <laughs> They'll send you new one. Okay, but fifty bucks American is not bad for what this is. So I, I have a theory about this whole PST making a comeback, and they talk about even in the review highlight, like much better engineering at an affordable price and blah, blah, blah type of thing. 50 bucks is not bad for an introductory full-size tool from Leatherman. It doesn't matter what else you're looking at out there. It's like, whatever it's, but 
what I kind of think is last year they came out with some heritage stuff and it was counterbalancing the free series, which probably didn't do as good for Leatherman as Leatherman wanted the fancy magnetic butterfly opening and closing to do for them. I, I was hoping we would talk about this. So they came up with some heritage stuff, but it was heritage sheets. And most of the heritage sheets were pretty reasonable price, but there was a couple of them that were like actually $60 American, I believe, if I remember correctly, or $50 American, 60 polar bear dollars, something like that type of idea. Um, people paid money for that $50, $60 sheath, and they're like, wait a second, we can make something that we made 50 years ago for half the price because it was made in 1980 exactly this way, and people will pay just as much money for it today with inflation prices because... I it's heritage series stuff. to the fact that you said 50 years ago, and then you well, said 1980. <laughs> and it's 40 years ago, but yeah, whatever. I was born in 83. How dare you, sir? Well, I was born in 82. It just still is just the fact that it's closer to 50 than it is to 20. <laughs> Hurts a little it bit, really doesn't it? really fuck you up if you think about the fact that... Uh, um, Back to the Future, the time difference between when they went from the 80s back in time is the same amount of time from now to the 1980s or to the mm. 1991. It's true. It's true. I just prefer not to think about it at all. It's, uh, well, you know. that's just because you don't want to think about kissing your mom at prom, but, you know. Uh, do, does anyone? Do, 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 do some people? Do most people? Most people <laughs> that changed the iteration of that statement two or three times. As yeah, going down the ladder, right? yeah. Oh, what's the actress's name that was Marty's mom? Because she's kind of a smoke show. I'd kiss his mom. <laughs> but would you kiss his mom if she was your mom? That that's the important question. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> no, oh, Paul, with, no. <laughs> saving that for another episode. Oh, it's, it's, so. just a, it's just an intervention episode. That's all it is. So, <laughs> anyway, my theory is, is that they're actually getting away with super low-cost tools because this thing is as basic as basic can be. And yeah, it's got a cheap price, but so did the brown sheath with the gold lettering that people paid way too much money for. So let's try this instead of a butterfly knife and see if it works, right? Like it's the thing is, is that for 50 bucks, I'm willing to get those kind of meh tools. Well, I'm not willing to spend two hundred dollars and get a non-interchangeable screwdriver in my pliers. Yeah. And see, for me, like a hundred bucks, well, hundred Canadian dollars. So what like 80 75 ish american for the uh for the rebar is kind of edging on what i find acceptable for what you get out of it but the tool has worked so well for me that i'm i don't know i i wouldn't mind buying a bond for 50 bucks and tossing it into a bag and just having it in you know case of a if it's where you night you need a knife and occasionally a pair of pliers type of thing and then anything yeah. else is icing on the cake and then you're good to go right uh apparently we've got a graduation war going in our chat because the 82s apparently. and the 83s are at war with each other <laughs> um well obviously there's one year that wins that battle for sure yeah 83 <laughs> <laughs> you get on dick richard's sides me and the whisperer are fucking going on yeah 82 82 that's hilarious uh, Dick Richards is also 82. Oh, there you go. Good yeah. stuff. Okay, everyone's on the same side then. There's no war going on. I'm just trying to create one against Paul, apparently. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like Dennis is what you call thing. a shit stirrer. It's a uh, yeah, it's a French term. Oh, we haven't we haven't even talked about my random comment about the new uh, Chris Taylor design on Knife News. But anyway, do you, do you want to dive into that before we get into? Yeah. <laughs> No, I looked at it twice, and I'm really I'm just stirring the pot if I mention anything. But anyway, so. But that's what makes it entertaining, right? It's, uh, you know. the uh, I like the fact that this is, like, surge-sized, right? Uh, no. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's, take, take a look at the... This uh, is side, sidekick size. Yeah, it's small. Like, look at, look at the thumbnail here. It should turn up for you in about five seconds from now. Uh, in the person's hands, it's... it's wingman size. Dude, okay. yeah, it's like it's it's conveniently sized. I think they're the really. Man is it's not it's not juice sized. It's bigger than juice. Yeah, but it's uh, yeah it's, a like, juice. Okay. I really no, as in like the Leatherman juice. There's like I don't know how many variations. Get with the times. There, 
Ju- juice has been discontinued for like two, three years though, hasn't it? They still make the juice XE sixes or whatever they are. The wait, I actually have one. What the hell is it called? Juice B two. That's what it is. Okay, so they make the half tool, but they don't make the full tool anymore. I don't That's... know if they actually do make. I think they re-released them under with a different handle. Is actually, I think, what the juice oh. became. Uh, but Fisk, yeah, rebar all the way. I think Joe has a rebar too. I think the rebar, for the most part, is actually kind of a kick-ass tool. But the wind, which is basically the same thing as the Super Tool three hundred. Um, I'll just bring it up to. There's a does the knife. Super Tool have scissors? Am I just like Super Tool? Scissors on Super way Tool too many things? does not have scissors. The Super Tool does but not. Even the scissors have scissors, brother. Okay. Yeah. Something more things have scissors. I'm gonna go to their website and smoke <laughs> <my> scissors. <laughs> That's fucking it's gonna be funny. micros. It's gonna be styles and micros as far as the eye can see. Yeah. No, I. <laughs> Okay, so the rebar is only 70 bucks. So you get a locking tool, you get replaceable wire cutters, you get a saw, and you get a... I think a serrated blade is the other big difference? Yes, I think that's the other thing. Sorry? I want a pocket clip. That's the only reason why the... the, uh, I don't know. Okay, so... And the sidekick are better. I I personally have found that the sidekick... uh, And the sidekick was the one with the folding saw. And I carried that most days in college and i found that at least in jeans but even heavy duty like work pants those tools would slide out of your pocket so fucking easy just because of the weight and the smoothness of the handles um i vastly prefer a sheath for something this heavy it just i don't know it i've never had good luck with pocket clips on leathermans i just don't want things on my belt okay that <laughs> that's fair so I'm going to claim that I'm not wrong on a technicality on a comment that I made about a rebar not having a pair of scissors. Okay. There's a knifeless rebar. There is. That you can get. For does it GSA come with proof. scissors? You fucking bet it does. <laughs> <laughs> I literally went to Leatherman's oh my website God. and typed in scissors and searched just to That's see. That's so funny. Holy shit! Because <laughs> I needed to know. Because I com- dude, I completely but... missed that, and I th- I saw it from like the corner of my eye. I'm like, there's something weird, but whatever. I see the original rebar. That's what I'm gonna click on. It's Fuck. got the same body, so they had Fuck, to put something funny. else in the blade spot, right? Okay. Was it the rebar? We got a a multi tool at one point that we sold to a customer that had to come back and swap it out. Two serrated blades, they- right? Yeah, it was two one of the same no, size. No, that was a I believe that was a charge that was just mismanufactured. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was all left handed or um and I love Dick Richards uh useless fact of the week. Six thousand oh. Canadians fought for the Confederacy, but four th- forty five thousand fought for the Union. Uh yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Uh Underground wor- Railroad worked both ways. I mean have you seen what the Hudson Bay Company did to people up here? <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> yeah. Anyway. They still sell that. Useless game. Facts 101. Anyway. Well, this was this was all very interesting. <laughs> Were you going to say things about that other knife? The Bond. Um, okay, so here's the thing. The Bond... What's the blade length of that bond? I want to say that it's over three inches, which means that they made a slip joint knife to make it more legal in more places, and they kept it over the legal limit for most of Europe and a lot of places in the States. What the hell? Just shorten the blade a little bit. Like, if you're going to go that extra mile, like, why not? Take the blade and put some scissors in. Be fine. You'll be fine. I know it comes up in conversation, but I wonder how many states is a lot of states when it comes to the three inch rule. I think there's something like uh, there's a there's probably around twenty, I want to say that have that three inch rule. Hmm. Interesting. I want to say now that may have changed since knife rights has been going around and championing the idea that hey, a knife is a knife and it's it's just a knife, it's just a tool, but um. Oh, on an unrelated note, the I actually bought the paid version of the Knife Rights app because I wanted to know what the laws were in the states, and I wanted to support them because I thought, hey, why not? It's, it's a free thing. They fucking region locked me, so I can't actually use the app anymore, <laughs> so I can't check knife laws in different states. I was so bummed out when I figured that out. Uh, Wait, I don't, you I, paid for the thing and they fucking blocked you? Dude, yeah, they region locked me. 
like any if you're if you're out well i don't even know if that would work because i think it might be linked to your account and if your account's canadian based i don't know if it would let you do it um and uh fisk fisk's comment about uh most knives gonna get tipped soon anyway well all of a sudden my boker you'll be looks not too bad doesn't it it's uh santoku looking shape yeah 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 just a, just a touch just to see how it feels <laughs> i really don't like any of that um Especially not with a thick chunk of D2. <laughs> uh, no, no. Keep that away away from me. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anything else about the bond? I think that pretty much sums it up. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I'm thinking all the new age stuff wasn't working for them, so they're going back to the old school. That was kind of my whole point with bringing yeah, it up I think in the they first figured place. That they could reuse those crappy tools in an old tool, and it would be fine. You wait. The kick is coming. They're going to re-release the kick. Yeah. Can they re-release the juice? I would like one, please. The juice. Okay. Do they nice actually do they actually still make the juice or not? Okay, or is if, it completely gone? If we go and search juice, uh, okay. So they do list a few different versions of the juice. I thought they just like changed the reiteration. I don't think they have the grape juice anymore. It doesn't look like. Dude, is that a friggin' hedge trimmer? It's called like the hybrid. The hybrid. And I don't know when did when did Leatherman start making hedge clippers. Why wasn't this? Why aren't we talking about uh, this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so I also small note. Oh, this is in retired products. Interesting. So if I go to if I search juice, it brings me to this page of retired products. None of these are being made anymore. Uh, so they I don't gotcha. make the hybrid. What a weird search function. Okay, so d if I'm looking for multi tool, does that mean I have to search through every single option in all of these? So if I go through pocket size multi tools, oh, th th that's because there's, there's damn it, there is no juice. What's What's something that's smaller than a... Um, the squirt. Is that the only one? I think so. Like, if we the look squirt, at... squirt, the micro, the style, they're all in that keychain. So this... The juice was a halfway in between. It was perfect. It yeah. It was goddamn perfect. Like, you know the larger size of traditional, like, smaller than a buck 110, but something that you could just toss in your back pocket but have it be very functional? That's where the juice for me was. Like, it was, like, just, just a really nicely sized multi tool. That's something I would just carry loose in the pocket for sure. And... And the fact that they named all their colors normal colors, except for the purple. Orange was orange, yellow was yellow, green was green. No, green was lime. Sorry, my bad. Um, so you could get a purple, and it was called the grape juice, or you could get a green one, and it was called the lime juice. I love that the idea because of carrying they some grape orange, juice. And it was the orange juice. And yeah, but that one's weak sauce. But the blue juice, that could mean a lot of different things <laughs> it's <laughs> two two things <laughs> what the I'm hell late, what the on that shit. why does the flare have a trident what is the flare i don't want no never mind i don't want a trident <laughs> anyway <laughs> that's we're deep diving into something completely different now yeah, so. yeah all right gentlemen i think i think that's good enough for this week i don't know how you all feel about this but yeah i i think anything else i'd want to bring up is uh a little bit too deep divey related. I fear we might spend a little bit too much time on it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, unless the audience has any particular questions about how we think or feel about things, I think that might wrap it up for this week. I will make a final comment. Uh, I'll agree with uh, Infinite Gunworks about uh, Angry discontinuing the leap. The best tool for a kid to play with to get used to knives and opening and closing and locking mechanisms was the Leatherman Leap. I agree with it one hundred percent, and they should bring it back at a cheaper price because if they can make an all steel construction um, bond for fifty bucks, they should be able to do that for less than fifty, which I think is about what it was going for as well. Is it Sounds about right. Multi tool. Uh, oh, no, we'll, were you not we'll here? Talk, we'll talk about the leap. Some other day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a neat one, for sure. Uh, uh, Paul, talk about some social media crap. Come on. Yeah, you should uh, follow the <laughs> Do it. Go. 
Uh, we did mention tonight uh, five fifty five for the viewers. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm just saying, yeah, for sure. Uh, we severely appreciate uh, the guys subscribing on Patreon right now. Um, we realize that we're not putting up weekly content, but we uh, definitely uh, do appreciate all you guys subscribing to us. And yeah, if you want to subscribe more, more guys want to. Hopefully, we can get some better gear and set up some better stuff for you. So, indeed, better giveaways for sure. The gauze. Well, maybe a spear gun. Who knows, right? So yeah, I know, I know, guy. I know a guy who knows a guy. That's really? all I'm saying. <laughs> I only have a Biden. A Biden. <laughs> Biden. It's a frog gig. What are you kidding? It's, yeah. it's a sausage gig. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think wraps it up. I think so. All right. Uh, thanks for joining us, guys. I am who I am. I'm Dennis Pipers. And I am the Aaron Joe. And I'm um, XL.ca. Take care, guys. Thanks again.